and make sure we're coming in live and we should be nice hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream today today is april 27 2021 and we're doing our drop in math tutoring session number 73 or thereabouts uh, it's more than 73 i'm pretty sure <laughs> but we'll go with the official 73 number and we're going to do a little bit of mathematics high school mathematics specifically and uh, if we get the opportunity you know we can touch on preliminary stuff or post-secondary mathematics and we've done a lot of these before 73 minimum and 15 years of creating math content online and um and we'll see uh, where the discussion takes us and it is an open discussion we can talk about almost anything you guys want uh, we'll probably reserve politics on politics uh, because uh, we do want to load this up on censor tube as well and censor tube is not a free speech platform so there are certain topics that we cannot discuss there um, as important as they are uh, so we'll try to make sure um, we'll keep that discussion on our current events live streams one of which we're doing tomorrow that's the last one of this announced set so if you want to talk about politics and stuff um, it's gonna be the current events live stream uh, tomorrow we'll talk about aside from that welcome 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 and while we wait for notification notifications to go out I'm just gonna do my little intro to what this is uh, all about if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative commons share share and like and my more my work is really layered on mathematics this is the essence of what it is that we are doing and this mathematics is really the reason that i started uh, to have a video presence online 15 years ago or so 14 years ago or so okay before that i was blogging uh writing about whatever that uh, interested me at the time but came out with a purpose where we wanted to teach mathematics to as many people as possible make sure there are as many people as possible literate in the language of mathematics and for selfish reasons really for myself because i believe personally that if there are more people that are literate in the language of mathematics our world will be a much better place for all of us okay and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this mc mike how are you doing good morning good morning i hope you're doing well and the chat that you see popping up here boop, boop, there's gonna be more of it popping up and little notifications that goes on there that's on twitch boop, over here we are live streaming on twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e hello cheryl how are you doing dario cooper hello hello hi 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 hope you guys are doing well gang those of you who are supporting this work on twitch who are coming to these live streams good morning good afternoon from texas shirtless guy Hello, good afternoon freaking out blah 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 i got my vector calculus exam tomorrow ah <laughs> we can do a little bit of vector I, I don't know about the calculus part but we can do the vector stuff which is fairly straightforward breaking it into components right um which is really related to uh, uh physics right the vectors zach the ripper how are you doing brother a long time no see you good morning chicho and chad good morning good morning how are you doing brother i hope you're doing well uh mt al but hello hello welcome welcome to another live stream or bolinda hi all so glad to see you stream show so glad to be streaming mathematics <laughs> and thank you MC Mike, oh, that would be cool. Uh, let, let us know. I don't know if the, the calculus part, which part of the calculus part is just components, right? A vector going this way. It's like equilibrium problems, right? You break everything down. We could do one of those. I haven't done one for a while, but yeah, that'd be fun. 
Zach, I'm great, thanks, and you? I hope you're doing well, brother. Envious, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. And for those of you that are watching this on other platforms after the fact, this is the conversation taking on place right now. We have some regulars that come here. Uh, thankfully, very much appreciated. And gang, thank you for the support on Twitch and mods as always. Thank you for taking care of business. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK, Gap, and Parlor. And we do have a Discord page where you can uh, come to our Twitch channel. And anytime you want in the chat, type an exclamation mark social. And all the links to Minds, Gap, VK, Parlor will pop up, including our Discord link right there. And that Discord is slowly becoming nicely active and people are sharing a lot of information we have close to about 800 people there now um, and uh, there's different roles there as well so if you're on our discord you'll go to the uh, roles folder it's on the top and you can specify you know what topic we have 10 different topics i mean we do a lot of stuff you can say why you're on discord if you want right it's, it's cool to see uh, the different uh, reasons. And you can pick all of them if you want. I'm there for all of them. <laughs> Zach the Ripper, Chicho, I'm doing well as I can be right now. Gearing up for back uh, surgery next week. Ah, oh, dude, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. I've been working on the shoulder, brother, as you know, working on the shoulder. And I think in the next set of streams that we announce, I'll show you guys. We'll go. We'll do another meditation um, dodge hellcat thank you very much for uh the follow i think what we'll do uh in the next set of streams that i announce we'll do another meditation exercise stream because i'm sort of doing different things now trying to improve this uh both of them really just because being online so much and whatnot and it's helping a lot and i am seeing a couple of uh, therapists as well that I, you know i've had access to so i've been working with them making sure because i tend to push a little too hard and injure myself or injure myself so they're, they're keeping me in check so i'm doing things slow-mo right um i hope the surgery goes well uh ripper i hope the surgery goes well um surgery uh, it takes time to recoup from you you gotta eat protein uh, you know you know the drill i think you know the drill brother uh envious Cheryl I will probably lurk on the sofa like most of the time so I'm not uh, typing a lot but I'm happy you're great as I saw in the chat I'm doing fine awesome 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 gang but up but up but up for live streams we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify and iTunes and we will be uploading this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. Gang, regarding Odyssey, okay. So two days ago, I synced Odyssey with SensorTube, right? So this platform right there, I synced up with this platform right there. Now, SensorTube used to be called YouTube, uh, where anybody could share anything they wanted to within reason right life experiences ideas share their content right it was a content independent content creator friendly platform it is no longer an independent friendly content platform and what i did i synced up whoop, odyssey with sensor two and 832 of the videos that we had on sensor tube were transferred over to odyssey right the the videos that weren't transferred when i did the sync it told me that 1000 of uh, the most recent videos would be transferred now we have 1209 or 1210 videos on sensor tube so it only was going to grab the previous thousand so there was 200 something 210 that weren't going to be grabbed and also there was another specification saying that nothing more than five gigs was going to be uploaded and nothing over two hours was going to be uploaded so i'll have to upload those manually to odyssey okay now when i synced up the odyssey channel with sensor tube it 
created a new channel I had to specify to create a new channel I should have looked into this a little bit more intensely right so I created a new channel and I called it Chicho's YouTube sync now fine and Danny 832 videos got transferred Chicho was a happy happy Chicho right and then yesterday I went up to upload a video to the channel that we originally created on Odyssey where we're uploading the new stuff and I kept on loading it to the to the new channel that was created so the link to our Odyssey channel has changed okay those of you who are subscribed on Odyssey please subscribe to the new channel and the new channel link is this believe it or not <laughs> this is the crazy part the first channel we created in Odyssey was odyssey.com backslash at chicho double colon nine this one is six okay <laughs> so if you're following the work on odyssey and i'm gonna you know we're gonna load everything on bitchute rumble and odyssey not everything goes on sensor tube so if you want to consume all the content that we're creating you want to be on the these three bottom platforms video sharing platforms not on sensor tube okay like or really uh <laughs> because sensor tube is not really liking some of the stuff that we're uploading even even though we already got our filters on we're not even uploading everything uh sensor tube is um uh we're in negative subscriber growth now people are being unsubscribed right even though view counts are high revenue is high revenue is 50 percent higher than last year views are higher than last year uh view duration is higher than last year video platforms going up uh subscribers going up on the other platform but so, <laughs> subscribers dropping on sensor too uh being someone who has done geophysics who did geophysics for 10 years loving data i have processed a tremendous amount of data in my life okay and i know anomalies when i see them the data is full of anomalies right which means and they're not natural anomalies they're external anomalies right so and this is something that a lot of other creators have experienced over the last few years right um so it is what it is that they are doing okay so just a heads up if you're on odyssey please subscribe to the new channel odyssey.com forward slash at chicho colon six i hope that's not going to change again that should not change again that has 830 plus videos that were on sensor tube already on that platform so we already got a mirror going on which is a great thing as far as i'm concerned okay mc mike is a wikileaks vault 7 video on odyssey i like that one i haven't checked yet i just did it two days ago i i really I actually don't know what's there i know videos that are longer than two hours are not there i know any videos uh files that were more than five gigs are not there okay and i know the original 250 videos or so uh, let's say 210 videos are not there right and the original 210 videos those are the math content i have and uh this uh the sound wave audio thing that i did and the martial arts videos that i uploaded right so i have the math stuff available as torn so i'm not worried about those i'd like to upload the sound wave music uh festival that i went to or in 2007 2008 i shot djs in the forest different different venues playing music electronic music it was phenomenal okay then and, and the 2007 one was a 24-hour period that i just got there and i shot video for 24 hours different djs different times uh, during the 24 hours right i stayed awake more than that actually it was like 36 hours 40 hours i stayed away but i shot for 20 hours 24 hours and the 2008 one was uh over a three-day period where i basically slept for like two hours okay uh and then and all that jazz but i'll check at some point i'll check at some point okay uh, hopefully it's there do a little search on it uh mc mike i haven't searched if there's anything that you're looking for uh do a search on it on odyssey see if the video is up there 
uh, hopefully it's up there I hope it's up there and if it's not by the way and if it's not send me a message I'll track it down uh, restore it upload it okay and good timing gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube for as long as it's there okay steel lord of iron how are you doing hey chicho first time here been watching on sensor two for an asmr video and i love your content thank you very much and thank you for coming here thank you for coming here mc mike just started following you on uh odyssey at that channel this is cool plus um oh i like the platform i you the the platform is great as well I, i've been watching starting to watch some videos on there as well like really <laughs> we can talk about this tomorrow regarding the ridiculousness of what's going on with the the management at certain companies they're killing the goose that gate laid the golden ace felix hey chicho i recently dropped math in college nothing to do with the subject itself just the teacher and the way it was taught yeah picking up something else next year happy to get my math fixed today from the stream awesome felix and yeah uh, there are i i've had students that they get turned off of mathematics and one of the first things i do with people that i start working with is to try to instill in a sense of excitement and joy into mathematics because in general most students that i start working with they really don't like math mainly because of the way it's been taught maybe because of the curriculum the system the teacher the textbooks are horrendous okay let me take these guys down and thank you mc mike for joining on odyssey gang and thank you for those of you who are joining on the other platforms i appreciate it very much chicho good to see you good to see you ronnie how are you doing love these math sessions me too me too nikki hickey how are you doing hey chicho i miss you my brother so much life going on these days no time found to chill with you. no worries i'll be here man this is my i i really enjoy this stuff man this is my social uh and we can talk why uh in the politics world sun's shining and the snow is melting hope you're well i'd love to pop in for some modern valiant reading peace got the split split away nikki and modern valiant yeah i need to get the get a valiant reading in there which one haven't we done yet um we did harbinger one we've done xo one we've done solar man the atom number one we've done archer and armstrong number zero would be an amazing read maybe we've done that i don't i don't think we've done that we've done uh fall of harbinger number one um what else did we do modern valiant we haven't done too many modern valiants we should do a modern valiant what's up son sundrill how are you doing narnia 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 death gate cycle death gate cycle death gate cycle that i just found out there's two more books in death gate cycle that i didn't know about that came out 15 years later someone commented on our um, book recommendations when we went through this right and they said there was two more chapters in death oh no no it wasn't the death gate cycle it was this one um uh, the well of souls in the well of souls so in the well of soul souls twilight the well of souls in this series there are two more books that were introduced it's a five book series that i read a uh, long time ago a long long time ago right i believe it ended in the 1980s and supposedly uh, in the mid 1980s or early 1980s and uh, in 2000 and in 2000 and 2001 they released two more books on this i love this series the five books all the way up to four and a half and then the last half of the last book um, i really didn't enjoy uh, i thought they rushed it so i wouldn't mind reading the other two books in this 
Ding Bobber. Hey Chicho, hope you're doing well. I heard a theory that Tesla is going to launch a coin and possibly well, root excess power from the solar panels to mining set coin. Only a theory at this point, but yeah, possibly. Possibly. A lot of people are getting into the blockchain world, right? Fat, welcome. I am here to listen. Awesome. Omnifiat. Omnifiat. Omniofast. Fiat. Fate. Omnio fate. <laughs> and regarding uh, Tesla, yeah, they might. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Elon Musk is a is a is a meme, right? Uh, so he's he's staying up to the up to the latest meme going around because he wants to be in the spotlight and whatnot. And I really don't uh, trust. Uh, he, the intentions there for sure as I'll, you know some people tend to do for some reason um, I don't know why <laughs> Rami kid in uh, anonymity in in and and out uh, anatomy right now but lurking in the background hope everyone is well awesome awesome anatomy is that correct e steel lord of iron steel lord of iron ever read invincible comics a little bit <laughs> are you watching the series that's so good the amazon show stays pretty true to, yeah very true they they took some of the events um i haven't read too much like i've read that like I, just even the the what i've read like i read like three issues or something like this right not much but they're readjusting some of the time bringing in something that occurred here bringing in earlier and stuff like this just from what i've read right but i like the series so you've have you read the whole series are you liking is it, it the art style is basically identical to the comic book where is uh, i actually <laughs> I actually have the reprint of the number one here somewhere uh, that I recently reread again. Uh, so it's fun. It's definitely fun. Think about it. Yeah, he boosts Do Dodge Dogecoin with a single tweet. My friend uh, theorized that he took the data from Doge uh, Doge block. I call it Dogecoin. Like uh, people say, Doge Dogecoin blockchain. Following his tweet and is going to use the data to help him launch his own coin. Yeah, I I i don't i don't trust Alan, and i'll tell you why i mean this isn't this is sort of touching on politics but I, people will ask me why why come how come this is how come when the cia was conducting a coup in bolivia because bolivia has mines that ellen musk needs right to make the batteries for his tesla products and then people people were kept on saying oh ellen doesn't get his lithium and all that jazz from bolivia they get it from south africa well that's a source right so if that is blocked off right then that means the price of lithium from wherever he's getting it is going to go up right and he would rather the price of resources don't go up so he can produce his products right so people don't think beyond the one dimension which is crazy to me which is why we do mathematics because mathematics takes it takes it down right you like once you link everything up you're invincible right so and when the cia conducted the coup in bolivia uh people asked alan musk what he thought about the coup and he basically he, he said he said quote we coo who we want deal with it that's what he said quote pretty 100 percent sure that's what he said quote we coo who we want deal with it end quote right so i call Elon musk Elon. we coo who we want musk right and as far as i'm concerned he can kiss my ass right anatomy human anatomy thank you very much rami again <laughs> my pronouncing sometimes i pronounce things too directly as word i forget what it's called phonetically or something in exactly the way they're written which is like i did a reading of rye number zero right 
and the geomancer's name is Jeff but it was written G E O P H so I threw that whole reading and I did that reading three times I was having technical difficulties like crazy I called them Jeff <laughs> Jeff Jeff <laughs> you like the math something whatever I like math because it has no bullshit no BS man there is there is one answer and does not involve subjectivity indeed all right that's why I was terrible in literature classes that broken down literature which can be interpreted in many ways and involve subjectivity yeah and there's there's a lot of things a lot of literature that has been broken down by academics right and then you hear interviews or the people that wrote that literature and they they get question you know people ask them questions oh what do you think about this interpretation and this person's comments and, and they're like no that's not that's not what i had in mind that that was not my intention they're just they're academics they're just talking bs right my intention was not what they're saying my intention was my intention was this right so but but as long as by the way and that is okay for people to interpret things differently right but when they they become fanatical about their interpretation no this is what it means there is no other version this is exactly what it means then they're fanatics right they're they're dictators they're totalitarians right uh, iron i love the show but bought a, um, a compendium that has volume one to nine nice so an omnibus so you haven't read the whole thing yet the show is fantastic i'm watching it with my partner it's like cartoony and then all of a sudden something brutal happens and it's not just a visual brutal it's like the emotional brutality of it and she's like oh my god right basically for anyone that's uh has watched uh the boys tv series i don't know if that's on netflix or what it's on right it's the animated version of the boys to a certain degree right so it's really cool ronnie right envious envious i'm working on a graphic designer graphics designer and oftentimes i have to explain ideas to clients there's also so much space for interpretation and oftentimes i make something up just to sound more professional <laughs> nice <laughs> awesome <laughs> ronnie i work in a field where it utilizes math but due to randomness i have to make best judgment so i've come to peace with subjectivity yeah um, for me too and if if you're if you're trading if you're in any type of market there's the mathematics part of it but then there's the intuition part of it there's the experience part of it right that's why that's why automated trading will never right will never to a certain degree will never beat a professional trader right there are like martin armstrong has a program where it analyzes a lot of data and talks about different trends that are going to take place which are pretty damn accurate like really phenomenal right however when it comes to daily trading right a human being looking at that data that interpretation from the ai will make better choices than the ai itself right or machine learned itself just read about that quote we will coo whoever we want deal with the tweet he deleted it after two days not surprised did he delete it yeah sorry Elon Musk F you for thinking that you have the right to coo whoever you want those are human beings their their lives are being destroyed so he can kiss my ass Felix Chicho could you uh, construct regular 2d shapes with ruler and compass increasing in size by one inch one each time okay example start with a triangle then a square then a pentagon etc i'm interested how far you can get 
So, hold on, let me read that. Uh, could you construct the regular 2D? Could you construct regular 2D shapes with ruler and compass increasing in size by one each time? Yeah, so sure, why couldn't you? You mean like I'm just going to draw a general, right? So, do a triangle, right? So, let's assume this is 10 units, 10 units, 10 units. And then the next one would be 11 units, right? So I'm going to increase. So what I would do is increase each side here. Uh, like this length is 10, so this would be 11. But each side here, I would have increased by 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Is that what you mean? And I'm going to go through pens, gang. A lot of these pens are dying slowly, so we're going to um, junk them. I'm glad you like my uh, <laughs> uh, Kenny Roberts. How are you doing? I'm glad you like my Joker drawing. Yeah, it was really good, man. I'm very proud of that one. Yeah, that's the one you posted in Discord. Fantastic, fantastic. That was really good. I would love to see a comic, full comic in that style. Creative product, uh, Cheryl to MBS, effectivity to non creatives is a real skill so if you need to make up your own jargon do it whatever works whatever works i agree with uh, cheryl as well because it's very visual some people have a visual uh like when you give them words they visualize it right so you can amplify that visual visualification whatever it is visualization then more power to you i do it with mathematics and then i have hardcore some hardcore math people that look at my videos you can't say that i go i say that to emphasize a point <laughs> i'm teaching like rudimentary mathematics right ronnie 90 the reason why ai can't beat the market is because of one thing and that is correlation does not equal causation ai will use past data for making predictions but we know there may be future events events different from those in the past uh, you can program ai to look into the future as well to see what certain technology is coming from but there is th there's one major problem with the ai um, with automated trading with all these programs is liquidity right liquidity can throw out destroy any system right or lack thereof liquidity right once liquidity dries up all of a sudden you'll see market changes go right and once um, supply dries up you see the market go in the opposite direction so those two things have huge effects on markets and they can come along instantly instantly right one of the other problems with ai automated trading is everyone jumps into the same trade right so everyone's following the same wave all of a sudden if there is an anomaly something that happens here certain breakers are broken all of a sudden you see right or the other direction right which is pretty cool and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor to increase side by one i think he meant increase side by side by one increase side count oh increase increase side count oh increase side count okay 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 so you're talking about this you're talking about triangle and then square so what about the length is there a limit on the length that you can increase or are you just fitting whatever shape you have tightly then the length you're going to go to is going to be tight enough to fit the shape that we have and then you also have to specify your starting shape right this is like seed like for example if we do, do a triangle like this or a triangle like this then the structure is going to look different right so this one if we're going to make it tight 
here, let's draw how we're going to make this tight. Here, we can just make it tight, go up here, right? Well, it won't be tight because this, if this length, actually, if this is an equal lateral, then it won't be tight on the top. But if we drew this in a way where this length here was going to be, mm, yeah, long enough to fit this, right? So that means it would have to be, well, it won't be, it won't be an equilateral, right? So this triangle is not going to be an equilateral, but this side can equal this side, right? And then you draw tight like this, and then you want five shapes. So one, two, three, four, five, right? So this one, we could probably tighten up down, right? And then six sides, yeah, I don't know for me it's difficult to do these and then this would look totally different right well if you only want four sides so it would be that and then the same thing right padre 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 how are you doing uh i was about to say intuition what do you think that is unconscious pattern rec uh, recognition it's cool because for me intuition is more of a gut feeling than the head i i think intuition is very much padre linked up with uh, experience i think intuition is experience in 90 percent of intuition is experience in my opinion fiat we need look at the question of felix felix where to say it? felix chicho i mean it is a uh, I mean it as a challenge using a ruler and compass you can construct perfect regular shapes and regular shapes means all the sides are the same right and i was wondering how many you could construct good question i don't know has anyone tried it have you tried it felix slick mick how are you doing math is a go uh math is a go repeat maths is a goal <laughs> this stream run slick me awesome and should we do vectors gang i forget who it was that asked about vectors mc mike maybe no it wasn't mc mike someone else padre 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 i've seen a video of a guy get kicked kind of far but it uh, seems like you need to know the math to know how to do it and even then uh, good rulers good ruler skills and if it's, it's regular shapes here's the formula for calculating the angles you need right now check this out here let's draw this actually uh, no we'll take this out here okay who who was it that asked about vectors Ronnie if I had uh, to memorize pages upon pages of dry materials like laws and regulations well what would be the best way you think I I didn't get into it because I couldn't do it I think it's again gives it gets into experience you have to immerse yourself in it it's like trying to learn a language like laws and regulations and stuff is learning a language right so if you're trying to learn a language then the best way to learn a language is to use a language right i would love to do vectors okay slick mick we'll do vectors after this i personally haven't tried but the highest i've seen is 17 sided regular polygon okay i'll give you i'll give you the formula for this i missed a little bit of chat uh, but here let me give you the formula for this take a look at this thing uh, and then we'll get into the vectors okay um, slick make take a look at this thing a triangle okay doesn't make a difference what type of triangle the sum of the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees so this angle plus that angle plus that angle sum of angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees okay that's the sum of the angles in a triangle i need to start killing pens i'm going to start killing pens gang let me know if this is not coming out bright enough for you okay i was gonna go get some uh pens but i didn't get a chance to do it okay what's 61 <laughs> it's like my uh, uh odyssey channel it's like my odyssey channel it's like a 69 your device is always taken deeply Ronnie take so some of the angles in a triangle is 180 degrees right now if these sides are the same equal then each one is X X X which means all the angles are the same right 
So let's kill the x here. If all the sides are the same, then all the angles are x, 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 right? Because all the angles control the sides, right? So basically, x plus x plus x has to equal 180 degrees because they're all the same. So 3x is equal to 180 degrees. And you divide by 3, so x is equal to 60 degrees, right? Now, here's a four-sided shape. And we'll go up to five-sided shape, and I'll give you the lowdown on this, right? So whenever you want to find the sum of the angles in any polygon, break it down into triangles, right? So a four-sided polygon, if you break it into two triangles, from one point you break it into triangles, then this triangle, this these angles added up are 180, and these angles added up are 180. So the sum of the angles in a quadrilateral, so four-sided triangle, is 360 degrees because it's two triangles, so two times 180, right? What the hell? This is complicated. <laughs> I'm only eighth grade. You're going to do this, by the way. Uh, you end up doing this in grade grade nine, okay? Uh, pay attention here. You'll see it. All of a sudden, it'll just click, and you go, ah, oh, this is simple, right? Like you have two triangles here, one triangle, two triangle. What's the sum of the angles in this triangle? 180 degrees. What's the sum of the angles in this triangle? 180 degrees. What's 180 plus 180? 360, right? So the sum of the angles, sum of angles in a quadrilateral, in this, I'm just going to say in this, is equal to 2 times 180 degrees, which is equal to 360 degrees. Okay? Make sense? Okay, okay. Done deal. Watch this. Seriously, you're going to, this comes up to you in grade, maybe even grade 8, right? Now, let's try a five-sided, and then we're going to come up with the equation for this. So, five-sided polygon. Now, it doesn't have to be a regular polygon. Remember, regular, regular polygon means all sides are equal. They're all the same length, right? So let's assume they are or they are. We don't care if they are or they aren't right now, right? So we want to right now figure out what the sum of the angles in this pentagon is because this is a five-sided polygon, right? So we want to find out what this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle plus this angle is equal to, okay? So what we do, we say, okay, let's break up this pentagon into triangles because we know the sum of a angles in a triangle is 180 degrees, right? So I'm going to kill this so it's not as uh, busy. Right? So start up one node and make a triangle. So you can't make a triangle there. That's just a straight line. So there's one triangle. And then you already used up this one. We went to here and then draw another line to there. Right? And then that's all we can do. We can make three triangles. Right? So one, two, three triangles. Well, what's the sum of the angles in this pentagon? Three times 180 because each one of these is 180 right so 3 times 180 is basically 180 added to this because we just added one more 180 to a four-sided one right there was two here one two now there's three right if we add these so we get zero four one goes up so 540 degrees That's what the angles in a five in a pentagon look like. Okay, this is scary now because it looks complicated. He is helping me. <laughs> so I would have drawn five. Oh, fun. Now take a look at this thing. You would have drawn five. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to draw five. Now take a look at this thing. Let's figure out, okay, a possible formula for us to figure out what the sum of the angles in a higher 
sided polygon is like six sided or seven sided or eight sided right so let's do yeah one two three four five six question what's the sum of the angles in a six sided polygon right in a six sided polygon okay now take a look this was a four sided polygon and we had two times 180 this was a five sided polygon and we had three times 180 right this was a three sided polygon and we had one times 180 right so one triangle two triangles three triangles right well what's the pattern that you see one triangle how many sides did it have it had three sides right okay quadrilateral has four sides pentagon has five sides right now take a look at this thing here is the formula to figure out what the sum of the angles in any polygon are right you go n so you say let let and a let statement in mathematics is your friend let n okay equal number of sides in a polygon and a polygon is a shape like this that encloses right and it can't have jagged ends going in okay now take a look so let n equal number of sides in a polygon so this has got three sides this has got four sides this has got five sides right now the way we can come up with the formula is this Padre, 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 geometry is fun as hell. Uh, uh, David, uh, it just looks complicated because you're new to it. Yeah, indeed, right? Once you get into it, it's easy. It can be easy, it could be very complicated. You could go into topology, which is just mind trip, right? How's Twitch explaining this better than my teacher? <laughs> it's, it's not Twitch, it's Chicho. <laughs> now take a look. The formula is this sometimes it's it's a guessing game you massage a formula until it fits right for this one you write it down as n minus 2 times 180 okay this is equal to the sum of the angles in a polygon equals sum of angles in n sided polygon this is the formula let me do this in red okay you want to write this down if you're studying this n minus 2 times 180 equals the sum of the angles in an n sided polygon so let's try it out for this this is six sides right so according to this formula sum of the angles sum of angles is equal to six minus two times 180 which is equal to four times 180 which is equal to 720 degrees okay if that's the case let's see if we can it means we're gonna have to be able to make four triangles right four triangles in this thing well let's try it out one triangle two triangles three triangles four triangles one two three four see the pattern a triangle has one triangle inside it 
A quadrilateral has two triangles inside it. A pentagon, five-sided polygon, has three triangles inside it. A six-sided polygon has four triangles inside it. Okay, what is a twelve-sided triangle? Uh, twelve-sided polygon. What's the sum of the angles for a twelve-sided polygon? So. I don't even know how to draw a 12 sided polygon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> Let's try that again. <laughs> how do you just draw a 12 sided polygon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go. I know it looks like a circle because <laughs> basically it is, right? So let's assume this is 12 sided. 12 sided well the sum of the angles sum of angles is equal to 12 minus 2 times 180 which is 10 times 180 which is equal to 1800 degrees right how many triangles in a 12-sided polygon 10 Ta -da. okay with add-ons, a circle with add-ons, right? <laughs> dodge coin, it's dodge coin, <laughs> right? So that's the formula, easy, right? That's the formula to figure out the sum of the angles in any sided polygon. Did that make sense? David, 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 David. Is that okay? All right. Now, if I was you, if I was in grade eight or grade nine. I take a screenshot of this right now and have that as a note right because it gives you what you need to be able to do a whole bunch of different types of problems now there's one more level to this math eighth grade man eighth grade yes i'm kind of getting it awesome now watch this she's just about to get real for when you go to high school indeed now watch this i'm going to erase this 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 okay and this and we'll just do the remaining work here now a regular polygon okay i will take a screenshot okay and you, you can do it when if you you can rewatch the video and just freeze it at that moment right but this is a timestamp of 28 minutes no when did we start 11 oh wow 58 minutes into the video <laughs> watch this regular polygon here's a definition for you regular polygon regular polygon means all sides the same length okay all sides are the same length okay now if all the sides are the same length okay then what's each one of these angles right because the way it works is if i draw you a shape right let's say a triangle if i say this is 60 degrees and i say this is 60 degrees then this side has to equal that side right and if that's 60 that's 60 some of the angles in a triangle is 180 60 times 60 yeah for 90 45 45 works too here we'll do this here's 45 45 well some of the angles in a triangle is 180 so 45 plus 45 is 90 90 minus 180 is 90 so this one has to be 90 degrees right okay but an angle controls the opposite side. So this angle, if that's the same as that, then that length is the same as that. So if I say it's a regular polygon, right? It means all the sides are the same, which means all the angles are the same. And if all the angles are the same, and the total sum of the angles, for example, in a quadrilateral four-sided four polygon is 360, then to find each one, you just take 360 divided by four five-sided polygon you want to find out what each one of these angles is you divide it by five you got five sides six-sided you divide it by six so the way it works is you go 
uh, regular polygon equals all size, uh, all size the same length, right? Then all angles are equal. Okay. So once all angles are equal, it, it goes without say that each angle Sunny Leo 98 is in like Flynn throws us the equation, right? All you do, you divide the total, um, then all angles equal. Therefore, and this is mathematicians taking shortcuts. Mathematicians are lazy. They shorten everything, right? So this is angles, right? Instead of writing angles, I draw an angle and put an S on it, right? Then total, uh, then each angle, each oops that's not an each that's equal each angle is equal to the total divided by number of sides well the total is this formula and the number of sides is n right and as Sunny Leo, Sunny, Sun in Leo says, Sun in Leo 98 says, it's going to be the formula is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. That's what each angle is going to be in a regular polygon. Okay. Is that clear? Does that make sense? And this is the way formulas are derived right you come up with one formula right you come up with one formula and you build on that one formula based on different metrics you want to calculate right remember the mathematics we know all of the mathematics we know the mathematics that we've used to send people to the moon right to come up with technology where I in West Coast of Canada can live stream a math tutoring session to you wherever you might be is based on five rules five axioms five rules we try to explain the Big Bang what wait you write therefore like that in Armenian Russian books we had the boring Oh, you you do that? Are you Armenian? Son, son and Leo, me too. <laughs> so you use this. I write therefore like this. In Armenian Russian, you use this. Well, not the. You use that guy, arrow. I didn't know that. This one's this one's easier. And hence, hence, is this way. Hence is this, upside down circles. Hence, we write like this. <laughs> Whoa. To the moon, to the moon, to the moon. Formulas are great as shortcuts, but they make new learners lazy and don't study in depth the math that led to the form. Yeah, agreed. Agreed. Yeah, cool. Equal and greater than. Yeah, equal and greater than that way too. Uh, isn't there one for if and only if uh yeah i don't i can't i don't use it so i don't know it right the three dots are for end of proof or qed ah, qed yeah it's latin it stands for i don't know what it stands for qed i don't use qed end of proof i put a check mark this is this is chicho's qed i just go that <laughs> done <laughs> Teachers didn't like it. When I was doing stuff, I wouldn't write QED. Otherwise, they don't give me the marks. Fiat. My coach had been, uh, my, my approach had been calculus of corners and triangles into the middle. Example, in uh, penta pentagram, all five are five triangles. Only not that you subtract 360 degrees from center point. Oh, so you go and then you uh, subtract 360, which is 
uh, two triangles worth you're subtracting out. So you start off in the middle, draw five triangles, and then you take out two of the triangles. Okay. Quad errant demonstratum. Tratum. That's actually easier than what I remember it to be. If I learn this, I want to build a rocket. Haha, <laughs> awesome. MC Mike. If and only uh if is oh it's a if and only if is this if and only if is that huh i didn't know that with two lines i guess two lines what is e where where is it applicable as a number e you mean 2.7 pa 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 it's a natural you, you can be kicked into the natural uh, logarithm Hannah I would have to dig into my math uh, calculus mode to remember quad e is constant growth but originally it represents compound interest great video on number file about it yeah Euler's constant right is it I don't know I can't remember I can't remember I'm pretty bad at Russian, but I know it uh, because I'm from uh, Latvia. Yeah, all Eastern Bloc people. Latin sounds so cool, indeed. Yes, E is Euler's constant. Cool. Let's do vectors, gang. Let's do vectors. I hope that's okay. That was fun to go down. I don't think we've done. Oh, maybe we've done. No, we've done. I think at some point in the last fifteen years. Let's do vector. So, okay, gang, let me ask you a question. Okay. E, ln, uh, e to the power of ln x equals x. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. I love logs. Logs is super fun. Uh, they don't do a good job in teaching us, so a lot of people end up hating logs. By the way, gang, I got snacks. I'm gonna do a little snack banana with uh, dark organic chocolate chips okay very delicious I mean put chocolate chips on anything it's delicious banana chocolate chips dark chocolate chips mm -hmm. I hope you got good snacks banana is good because the chocolate chips stick to it huh Cheryl is like the approximate symbol is the best math symbol ever approximately equal to <laughs> wishing you well and have a nice stream thank you very much for that thank you for popping in mathematics and snacks and ln x is simply natural log with base 10 I believe oh uh, no no base uh, base uh, e not base 10 log is base 10 the triple contour integral like this slick make been waiting okay vectors let me pop another one of these this is like crazy delicious <laughs> when one you'll just be legalized in the US in Canada both medically and record don't know would you would you go into K uh, direction I don't know what K direction is oh K direction you mean the third uh, 3d yeah not let's not go into 3d Oh, that symbol, Smith. How are you doing? I don't. I, man, I don't even remember that symbol. This symbol. Is it a dot in the middle? 
That's a triple integral. If green doesn't come out too good. Let's put the green away. Let's see what else we got. I gotta kill some of these pens game. Let's do vectors because I'm gonna need nay. That's the single one. Oh, that's a single one. That looks like a tropical hurricane symbol. <laughs> what it did actually. <laughs> vectors. Now look, gang, I'm gonna ask you a question. How fast can you drive on the highways where you are? All right? How fast can you drive? Green's theorem, as in the 3D, yes, should have clarified, but probably better uh, to stick to, yeah, yeah. 65 is the max in US. The, uh, I think in the US there's places where you can go 80 as well, no? Just for uh, funsies, ah, triple integral for funsies. 100 kilometers per hour, yeah, right? Or 110 kilometers per hour, here in Germany, unlimited indeed. The Autobahn, Lurking Loris, 120 kilometers on the on the biggest ones. Cool. I can drive pretty fast. Lots of it says 70 miles per hour. Uh, divide 70 miles per hour. No, we have 70 in Pennsylvania. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's places you can go 80 in this U.S. If I remember correctly. So that is a distance. That is a scalar quantity. How fast you can drive, right? Now, if you put a direction to that, that becomes a vector. Okay. So if you say I can travel 70 kilometers, let's make it, what do you guys want to do? Kilometers? The whole world does kilometers. The US does miles, but the majority of my audience in general is, is, is American. So I think it's 120 in Ireland. By the way, can you do this kind of math? Da, 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 da because it looks crazy yeah for sure that's just a distribution should we do that one speedy gonzalez style let's do no, well, let's do vectors first and then we do that one right so take a look at this thing let's do let's do simple 100 kilometers per hour let's say you can go 100 kilometers per hour right that's a scalar quantity okay montana is 80 now montana is 80 cool yeah Montana. I've driven through Montana. Nice try. Used to be reasonable and prudent. So this is scalar. Scalar, right? Which means there is no direction to it. But if I go 100, okay, kilometers per hour north. Oops, north. This is a vector quantity. This is a vector because it has direction. Okay. You're a good guy, man. Place. <laughs> Thanks. I try to be. Right? So that's a, as soon as you add direction to force to motion to anything you end up with a vector right so there are two main types of vectors we look at one is motion the other one is forces right and when you're adding vectors together so for example let's assume we had this we had let's say we had 100 plus 30 plus 80 minus 60 actually that's not the add the minus let's keep it simple this yeah. if you're adding these together then this is 120 uh sorry 120 210 right that's 110 plus 100 is 210 so that's 210 right if this is apples then it's 210 apples if it's kilometers then it's 210 kilometers right make sense okay now if these things had direction associated with them, it becomes a vector. You can't just add it up that way. For example, let's assume this was 100 north plus 30 
northwest plus 80 uh, east, southeast, southeast, southeast. Let's say we wanted to do this, right? You can't just add the numbers because the way this looks is this. Take a look. Oh, algebra in college. I needed a waiver for it. I think my eyes just went across. Coach, hilarious. So take a look at this thing. Let's say we have 100 north. So 100 north would be here. Whoop. Right? Let's assume that's 100 north. And then we have 30 northwest. Here, let me draw this better. We'll tag on to it, right? 30 northwest. So you went 100 north, 100 north, and then went 30 northwest. So let's assume that's 45 degrees, right? So we went 30 northwest. Let's make the vectors proportional. If that's 100, right? Then a third of that would be 30. So 30 northwest, and then southeast. Let's go southwest. So that way we can draw it properly. Southwest. Okay. There's south and then west. And then you went this way. 80 this way. 80 southwest. Right? This is where you end up. You start off here. This is where you end up. If you're going to add all those together, the total of those is going to be from there to there. That's what it adds up to, right? So this plus this plus this equals this. Right? So because this is a vector, there is a magnitude involved here. Magnitude, magnitude plus direction. Okay, so it's got magnitude plus a direction. How do we figure this out? Looks complicated. If you have a ruler and a protractor, you could do it really accurately. Make centimeters represent, well, that would be a meter. Like make millimeters be one unit, right? And then draw it and have protractors going on and stuff like that. Well, to do this, algebraically we need to break this down into its components and when it comes to components we're talking about the cartesian coordinate system x and y axes x and y axes why is that the case because if you're adding a vector that's going exactly in the same direction as another vector then you can just add them straight up as if they were scalars because they're acting in the same plane right so if you had this you had 100 north plus 30 north plus 80 north then that would be 210 north it's the same unit right it's just like 100 apples plus 30 apples plus 80 apples goes 210 apples 100 north 30 north plus 80 north is a 210 north right but if they're all going in different directions then what we need to do we need to break them up into components right let's do one let's do one that's the intro to the vectors right and the best way to appreciate how this works we need to do an example and you need trigonometry sokotoa to be able to do this now watch. We're going to draw this. Okay. Now we're going to draw this. I need to... I need... Let's see what kind of pens we got here. Let's see what we got. Oop. I got a lot of pens out here right now. Hopefully I'm not going to drop them to make nasty noises. Oh, look at this. I got a ruler. Let's make a Cartesian coordinate system. Okay. Let's make it. No, let's make it up here. Okay. Let's 
Grazie. How's that coming out? Not bad. I wish they made dry erase pens that lasted longer. These things die off so fast. So once we've got a Cartesian coordinate system, let's add what we had. Take a look. We had something that was going 100. So these are the measurements we had, right? We had, where should we put this? We'll just put it here. 100 north. We had 30 north west. And then we had 80 uh, southwest. South west, right? So let's do the 100 north first. So 100 north, lam x, exitex, excitex, lam excitex. Hello, what if you change the place of vectors in the sum? What if you change the place of vectors in the sum? Uh, it wouldn't matter. It wouldn't make a difference. Okay. You'll see. Take a look at this. So we're going to break this thing down into its components, right? So let's put them all originating from the zero so we're gonna go a hundred north is here so let's assume this is 100 north okay so that's going to be 100 the next one is 30 southwest oh sorry northwest right 30 northwest is going from here that's northwest like this okay let's make the hundred a little bit bigger that way we can do the work 100 and this is 30 this way okay and then the other one is 80 southwest southwest and 80 would be about this far this far so we're going to come here okay so this is going to be 80. now if i say northwest i'm going to assume it's 45 degrees so let's assume this is northwest means 45 degrees okay that means this angle here is 45 degrees five degrees okay mc mike oh, okay makes sense now since the triples uh relate to volume yeah 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 for sure for sure and you because i'm pretty sure you're doing uh integration you're trying to figure out the volumes of things right maybe mc mike and again southwest we'll assume this is 45 degrees now remember this could be any degree if you want here let's make it let's make this here we'll redraw this let's assume it's this actually let's do it this way that way and usually usually you want to do your measurement to the x-axis the angle so let's assume this would be southwest if i say southwest 60 then this is 30 okay because this part would be 60 south 60 degrees west there's different ways of saying this right i'm just writing it like this i'm explaining it to you there's different uh, ways to represent this i think they go south 60 west but i don't want to use uh structure of saying things without it being accurate right i'm not going to assume this is the way they write it everywhere okay so right now because that's 60 i'm going to keep that as 30 okay because I want to just do everything relative to the x-axis okay and this was a hundred remember this was 100 right this was 100 this was 100 and this was 80 right? so what you want to do is put them in the same direction to be able to add them right 
because again if this was 80 going down then the total sum would be 100 minus 80 because it's going in the opposite direction right so what we end up doing is we take each one of these vectors and broken break them into x y components so take let's take the 30 let's do it here right let's take this guy Thirty, and we're going to break it down into its components in the x direction and the y direction. Okay. So if that's forty-five degrees, forty-five degrees. Okay. So what we want to do now is figure out what this is and figure out what this is, right? But we're also going to do this with this. So I'm going to call this, what should we call this? X1 and Y1. Okay. Actually, let's call them X2 and Y2. X2 and Y2, because the 100 is really our first vector. Okay. So if we're going to do this, we need trigonometry, right? So if we're going to use trigonometry, we're going to use, let's see how dark this one is. So we're going to go, if you remember Sokotoa, so -ka -toa. sine of an angle is opposite over hypotenuse, cos of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan of an angle is opposite over adjacent. And we usually just end up, actually it comes out not too bright, I'm going to use black still. You're basically going to use sine and cosine because you're looking for x and y. So check this out. If you're going to use that, let's use... Let's try to figure out what x is okay if you're going to look for this that's adjacent to 45 degrees so you're going to use this so you're going to go cos of 45 is equal to adjacent which is x 2 over 30. so x 2 is going to be equal to cross multiply up 30 cos of 45. If you want to find out the y component, you're going to go sine of 45 is equal to y2 over 30, cross multiply. So y2 is equal to 30 cos of 45. Okay. Let me highlight these because these are the ones we're going to use, right? Right here. And right here. Yeah. So we just broke this down, oops, this down into its component here and here. That's what their links are, right? Let's do the same for the 80. So 80 goes down. And here is the X component goes in this direction. And the y component goes in this direction so this is going to be 80 and this is 30 degrees right and this is x3 and y3 now if you want to keep track of your variables you could call this x80 and y80 referring to the 80 uh, magnitude uh, vector and you could call this x30 and y30 I'm just calling them two and three just because it's simple right now. We don't have too many variables that we want to keep track of. Well, if you use Sokotoa again, then you have cos of 30 is equal to x3 adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So x3 is equal to 80 cos of 30 and sine of 30 if you're going to use the y is going to be y3 over 80 so y3 is going to be equal to what are we um, 80 sine 
uh, 30. Okay. I hope that's clear. I'm sort of going through this. I'm assuming you know trigonometry in this. Okay. I'm assuming you know trigonometry. Now take a look at this thing. Okay. So we have the X part of this guy. Right? We have the X part of this guy too now. Right there. We got the Y part of this guy, and we got the Y part of this guy now. And we have the X part of the 100 because there is no X part. It's just going straight up. So the Y part of 100 is 100. So if we're going to add up these guys, right? If we're going to go this plus this plus this, right? Then we have to add the, expo uh, the components, right? So the X part, X part, is going to be x total let's call it x total let's see if we're gonna should i do this in red let's do this in red red is coming out okay x total x total is going to be the x part of number one so x part of number one plus the x part of number two which is right here x2 plus the x part of the 80 right well, the x part of number one is zero plus because it's not moving in the x direction it's only moving straight up in the y direction x part of number two is this guy 30 cos 45 plus the x part of the third part which is 80 plus 80 cos 30. and what you can do is you can punch that into your calculator now, if you know your special triangles, 30, no, not 30. Actually, we've got to do 30 anyway. So 45, 90, 45, 1, 1, root 2. And then the 30 triangle is 30, 60, 90, 1, square root of 3, and 2. So cos of 45 cos of 45 is 1 over root 2 okay so this is going to be 30 times 1 over root 2 oops square root of 2 plus 80 times what's cos of 30 degrees is root 3 over 2 root 3 over 2 so this is going to be equal to 30 over root 2 plus 2 goes into 80 40 times, 40 squared of 3. That's the x part of the total component. Okay. Now, you wouldn't need to do it this way. You would just punch into your calculator, right? So let me move my pens here. Let me grab these ones. Maybe these ones are going to be a little bit better. So let's punch this in because we need the numbers. Let's do this. Uh, what do we got? Uh, I'm just going to punch these in. 30 cos 45, 30 times uh, 45 trig cos equals. So this part is uh, 21, 21, 21.21 plus. Uh, 80 cos 30. 80 times 30 trig cos equals 69.28. 69.28, which equals, and you add these guys up, plus 21.21. 21.21 is equal to 90.49. 90.49 that's the x direction okay which makes sense take a look at this thing this part added to this part will make it go this far right that's what really we're doing okay does that make sense 21 point 
two one is this length here. Sixty nine point two eight is this length here. And this one contributes zero in the y direction in the x direction. So if you add this and this, you get this ninety point four nine. Okay. Now, let's do the y part. Okay. If we do the y part, I'm going to erase this part. Okay. Let's do the y part. Y total. Y total is equal to y1 total plus y2 oops 2 total plus y3 total well y1 is 100 it's just straight up right 100 okay plus y2 is 30 cos 45 30 cos 45 plus y3 is 80 sine 30 80 sine 30 so this becomes I'm just gonna punch all this in in one shot in the calculator because we're limited with space right we're limited with space so we got do, 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 do. so what do we got 30 cos 45 30 times uh, 45 trig cos plus uh, 80 sine 30 well 80 sine of 30 is just 1 over 2 but I'm gonna punch it anyway plus 80 times 30 second sine equals that and then plus 100 so plus 100 is going to be 100 and 161.2121. So that's the y direction, right? Which makes sense to a certain degree. Oh, what a mistake, what a mistake. <gasps> look at this, look at this. This is going up. This is going up, but this is going down in vectors direction matters so we're not adding 180 sine 30 we're subtracting 30 sine 80 keep this in mind okay so i'm gonna punch this in again right how did i catch my own mistake well i looked at this i said if that's 100 and that's going to be this much how could we go 168 which would be over here if we're going in this direction right it wouldn't be so let's punch that in this is where people get burned big time so we're going to go 30 times 45 cos equals 21 it's the same thing as this 21.21 and then we're going to subtract sine of 30 is opposite over that is 0.5 times uh, 8, 80 which is 40 so we're going to subtract 40 minus 40 we get negative because if you were just doing this and this the direction is down right but then we're going to add 100 we're going to go up so plus 100 plus 100 equals oh 81.21 81.21 cool we have the x and y components right now where we're going to draw this where we're going to draw this which part should i erase because we need more space I can erase I can erase I'm gonna take out these guys let's do this slowly I'm gonna take out these guys so let's do the components on the original graph check this out we had 90.49 now keep in mind I went in this direction so I called this positive right 
in physics when you're doing vectors it's up to you what you want to call positive what you want to call negative if you're going to stay with convention i should have called this direction negative because that would have been positive but i'm keeping track of it it's the answer that matters right how i approach it is really up to me within reason you can't break the rules of mathematics but you can define what you mean with whatever variables and directions and stuff right it's your 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 game you're playing right so this is 90.49 so check this out this was 80 so 90 would be like around here so the total measurement is going to be this way here it's going to be a little bit less than that length if we're going to stay proportional right 90.49 so this is 90.49 and then we've got 81.21 now remember i call this down negative up positive and i subtracted this so i know that's positive so 80.21 is going to be here i'm going to go all the way to here or so So this is 80.21. So what you really have, you got the legs, the components, the X and the Y of your new vector, right? The total sum of all these three vectors added up. So what you can do is just take this guy and move it here to get a visual or take this guy and move it there. It's going to give you the same thing, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this going up like this. So our total vector is going to look like this. So that's our total vector, right? There's two steps we need to do to finish this. We need to find the magnitude of this and we need to find the angle of this. Well, the magnitude is easy. And the vector is easy. The magnitude is Pythagorean theorem. This is 80.21, 80.21, right? So all we're gonna do, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This is the total, total, okay? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where should we do this? let's do it over here i'm going to erase these guys okay so pythagorean theorem says a squared plus b squared equals c squared a squared plus b squared equals c squared where a is 90.49 squared plus 80.21 squared is equal to c squared the total is c okay we punch this in and if you want to write this out this becomes here 80.21 i want to write this out over here we get more space 80.21 so this becomes c squared is equal to i'm just going to punch that in to the calculator what's c squared 90 81.21 squared plus 90.49 squared 90.49 squared equals 14,784 14,784 yep and then to figure out what c is you take the square root of both sides so c is equal to square root of this duhiki square root of this duhiki is 121 hundred and twenty one point uh, five nine five nine okay so that's the magnitude here total is hundred and twenty one point five nine cool we need to find the angle because we're doing vector vectors right we can't just give the scalar quantity because if we say oh the answer is one hundred twenty one point five nine in which direction we're talking vectors so if we're going to do vectors you go back to Sokotoa Sokotoa sine cosine and tangent you have this length you have this length you have this length 
you can use sine cos or tan let's use tan we use sine and cos let's use tan so tan of an angle let's call this theta tan of an angle tan theta is equal to opposite adjacent what opposite adjacent <laughs> opposite over adjacent right so koto opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent which is 80.21 over 90.49 let's figure out what that is right 80 80.21 80 to 0.21 divided by 90.49 anyone want to guess what the angle is going to be let's see how accurate our drawing is check this out I sometimes do this just for the fun of it if this is 45 degrees and if I drew this approximately proportionally then this angle should be less than 45 so maybe it's around 38 degrees 40 degrees let's check it out so you get we get this tan theta is equal to 0 0.0.88 six four six four so theta is equal to tan inverse of this two vicky zero point eight eight four six so theta is let's do the inverse tan of it forty one point three four four degrees forty one point five five degrees and that's the angle so this is 41 oops point five five degrees which is pretty good not bad the accuracy was not bad so your answer to this question would be the solution to this would be magnitude would be 121 oh we should have used blue from the beginning 121.59 and we would say if we're going north and south we could say 41.55 degrees north of west at 41.55 degrees north of west or we could say 121.59 at and figure out what this angle is and you subtract from one uh, you subtract from 90 so oh, minus 90 is 48.44 at northwest staying with this convention oh we erased it northwest 48.45 48.45 that's vectors you have to be careful where you have to be careful in adding subtracting in your directions right if you're going to call this positive then everything this way is negative if you want to call that positive everything down is negative we call this positive and we call that positive because we're just working in that direction right i hope that helps it's been a while since we did vectors and this comes into play in uh, in physics a lot a lot especially in problems involving equilibriums and forces and magnitude and whatnot fun fun that was great good math session good math session gang i saw some follows and stuff uh flying through i didn't I didn't catch the names uh, but thank you for the follows thank you for the support gang also multiplication matters too since it's not necessarily cumulative in linear algebra yeah 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 multiplying back it, it it changes a lot I haven't done multiplication of vectors for a while a while I would have to look that stuff up but adding and subtracting vectors a lot bananas and chocolate chips hell yes 
I hope you have good snacks when you're doing mathematics. Not necessarily bananas and chocolates, but this is really um needed something sweet. Gang, I hope you like the math session. We're gonna do more of these. Uh, this year has been pretty wacko for a lot of my students, the people I've been working with. I don't know a lot. I know a lot of people are struggling. They're in school, which is unfortunate. But it is revealing the problems in our current education system, which is a positive. It's very important for people to appreciate how. How horrendous our centralized education system is okay I think it's been given a pass for too long and we can definitely see it playing out in uh, negative ways negative ways in our society so decentralizing our education is extremely important as far as I'm concerned and this is sort of my attempt at doing that right and I'm enjoying it very much and from the feedback i've gotten uh -huh, there's been a lot of people that have used this content to their benefit over the years yeah university included not a fan anymore no university crap as well yeah universe yeah yeah crap the whole thing's just completely collapsed in the western world um uh, education so and as far as i'm concerned that is by design but that gets into politics and we're doing a politics live stream tomorrow evening so gang thank you for being here i hope you like this we'll do more of these okay um i'll try to i'll try my best to slip in as many of these as, as possible uh we got one more stream left in this set and we're doing a politics stream tomorrow evening i believe at 8 p.m uh pdt pacific time my time west coast of canada so if you're into discussing politics economics personal finance investing and all that jazz uh, tomorrow stream um, might be a good place to pop into <laughs> aside from that gang thank you for being here thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for the discussion mods thank you for taking care of business share of you rock right gang if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o why do i always join at the last minute oh black light 20 why oh why oh why we did great mathematics today really super fun man thanks chicho padre my pleasure man real mc my thanks chicho real cool math live stream yeah super fun super fun cheryl she got her wrench going on <laughs> gang thank you for supporting this work i hope you guys have a fantastic day as well if you want to know what this is all about you can follow the work on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o i don't put anything behind paywall everything's creative comments share and share alike and if you're following this work you know that everything's layered on mathematics for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams twitch is where you want to be very cool channel thank you bring math <laughs> thank you you do uh, do you also talk about statistics yeah we've done some statistics as well not too much i don't go too deep into it because they they took it out of the curriculum in my part of the world like 15 years ago so i i don't get the opportunity to teach statistics too much right ah thank you very much for the bits uh will 101 i don't get to teach uh statistics very much but i love statistics uh so uh we can definitely delve into it, especially normal distribution and stuff like that and we will get into it a lot more i do plan on creating a module uh to teach statistics and at some point we're going to delve heavy into it right and again again thank you for the support 
on Twitch and thank you for being here. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK, Gab, and Parlor. Okay, and as Cheryl typed out, you can come to our chat anytime you want. I am in Twitch and type an exclamation mark social, and all those links will pop up, including the Discord page that we have. And we do have a math folder in our Discord page as well, Discord server as well, where there's people talking about everything not just in the mathematics but everywhere okay for these live streams where we don't have any visuals which we did today for the <laughs> my no worries Cheryl it's good for people to know right uh, you can uh, we do upload the audios to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to pitch to rumble and to odyssey and for those of you that are following this work on odyssey i hope they're also catching live streams and uh, paying attention to what's going on, on patreon page i haven't announced the change the channel change on patreon yet i haven't let that go because i'm going to upload one more make sure everything's flowing smoothly before i let people know our odyssey channel changed it's odyssey.com forward slash at chicho colon six okay used to if you go uh odyssey by uh, forward slash at chicho uh it'll take you to the original channel i created but once i synced up the channel with sensor tube and 800 plus videos got transferred over a new channel was created so it seems to be only uploading to that channel right now so i'm going to stick with that and just continue to upload and the odds are I'm gonna do a test run the next video I'm gonna load it on sensor tube and see if it loads it on Odyssey or not automatically uh, for videos that we're not going to be loading on sensor tube I'm gonna load them up manually onto Odyssey so Odyssey rumble and bit get everything sensor tube gets select material mathematics 100% aside from that gang I hope you have a fantastic day and if you can make it uh, tomorrow evening at 8 p.m. I believe we're gonna do current events a uh, lots to talk about bye everyone bye Cheryl thank you <laughs>